Hey everyone, this is Banley Badastro, and welcome back to Life is Strange. Previously on Life is Strange, we got off to some more time travel hijinks as we rushed to find the perfect timeline to save everyone. David Madsen is on the case. He's still looking for evidence. What? David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. David actually did suspect Mr. Jefferson quite a bit. I'm not... this is... I don't like any of these answers, but... I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it, but he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you, and Chloe, and your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while you had each other. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. David didn't do nothing. David's a real hero. He always was. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. We kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. Oh, God. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? <gasps> oh, my heart. Shy. No. I don't gain anything from telling the truth right now. It's not the time. David, um. She was pretty stressed out, so um, she went to go um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room.
Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence oh you God, shit all see over this Chloe computer. In the computer. Jefferson will end up in jail. But Chloe is dead. You're fucked, Jefferson. Not for long. The way she said it made me really sad, though. So as Jefferson didn't pipe up. No, he's knocked out. I have to imagine him like, You are gonna fry for this. I'm gonna rewind and just like out of curiosity to see what the other option is, because I have that option. David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. You can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I... God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! I had a feeling that would happen. That's why I chose the other option first. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. I think right under my nose. I think not telling him right now is the best option. I've seen so many people die this week. Now Jefferson. I feel numb. The way she tells him is kind of sad, but I think him knowing my at the moment God. doesn't help anything at all. What do I tell Joyce? I think what? it's more it'll actually be more emotionally helpful, I think, in the long run if he finds out later when Jefferson's in control of the police and the evidence starts coming out and there's a trial I think it'll be more healing that way, in a weird way Why can't I just wake up? Sorry, brother Okay, teacher Let's see I'm what glad that freak is tied up, but I still feel like I'm in shock No more fucking guns God damn you Every song you hear in jail will be torture You'll never be free again. Stuck in the I middle with you. I still feel those straps. Stop, Max. You're free. Oh, I want to burn all these folks. hate looking at me like that. How could you? Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. Thank you, Warren, and your awkwardly timed photos. Just looking at that makes me want to vomit.
Jefferson. You're lucky the cops are getting you in one piece. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Oh, Chloe, I'm going to save you for the last time. Oh, see? Rachel. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. How could anybody? No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Jefferson had plenty of women who would have totally posed for him. But he didn't want to give his subjects a choice. I think Nathan's going to come in for the finale. Because he's going to be alive this time. We're probably going to catch him before he gets killed. Are we even going to get any signal in the middle of a tornado? Repeat him. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find him. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thinks this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. We know how to drive. I've never seen Max drive in this game. I guess we do. I told you, I trust Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, goddammit, how do I pay all those prices? Roads. You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate, or Rachel, or, or... I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. <laughs> Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. I'm sorry. Good parking, Max. Right on top of the roof. <laughs> Don't laugh if that was actually the case. It's 
someone need help? Hey, that guy's trapped. I have to help everybody I can. Oh, boy. Thanks, kid. Are you the asshole guy? Once I get the hell out of here, I've been hauling loads for way too long in this shithole town. You better go now. And I ain't never coming back here. You need a lift? No thanks. I have to find a friend. You go, girl. You go. Does anyone need help? I'm a superhero. Oh god. Death is everywhere. It's following me. Oh, oh No. Can I save him? Can I save him? No. Yes, you are. Only if you don't find the safe spot until this blows over, okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. And what else can I save? I'm being a superhero here, I can save you. We need help. Someone needs help, I hear you. Shit. Alyssa needs help again. Why is ever all the main characters here? Help me get down. Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. What that shit now? Whenever you show up, I have to get out of the way. Don't trust me yet. Ah! Oh! oh my god. Let's do this right. Max moving the boards. I'm really good at this. Come on, Alyssa. Take my hand. Here I come. You did it, Max. Are you okay? Now I am. We need to get out of here. Alyssa, you go on. I have to help other people. Here to help people, where are you? Yell out, scream, say my name. Now come save the day. Please, you. Please, move. please, God. Oh, I can't stand seeing Already dead, bodies. can't save you. Am I getting for this? No. No, I can't cross this way. I. I can't think about all those children out there. What if this is it? What if I, there is no going, there is a whale over there. What if there is no going back after this? Here we go. How can I get out of here? No, I've never been in a tornado directly, but I have been in a hurricane, and I have been... I've been in a forest fire, hurricane... If we can make it out of this club. Uh, flood... And, uh... 1996 Northridge earthquake. It's a little more similar to that, as far as imagery. Don't fail me, Fusebox. Someone in there. I gotta like this house is fire. Oh god. He's dead. Electrocuted. Oh, 
I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Maybe I can use the flyer. Oh, this makes me so sad. Okay, I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. If we can make it out of this, Chloe. How could I warn the fisherman? Alright, I have to kill you, I imagine. Sorry, Mr. Fishman. But, I can go at you from the other side and fix this. Please, 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 please. Come on! You have to get out of here right now! I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. No more storms. All right, let's go. Get out of here. You should get out of here. Okay, I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. It still has not been explained at all. Alright. I gotta be the hero. Come on. Damn, why is there whales everywhere? Oh shit! Fuck! Cop guy, cop guy. Yes. All right, it's not blowing up now. I wish life was back to simple eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the room. Look at that. This tornado might be the end of the world. But not if I can change it. Good thing I'm wanting to get out of here. Oh, she's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning. Go get him, Julia. This has been issued for Arcadia Bay and not a test. County. This is Trust apocalypse. Me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. At least nobody's going to starve in here. Well, we do have first class tickets to the end of the world. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hello. So glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry, sorry. Pompadour, you okay, no, bro? No, I'm just a pussy. At least Frank still has Pompadour at his side. We will get out of this, okay? 
Frank, you're alive. Well, because I made the right choices. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? This is one of those situations where this is really the wrong time, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so... I just will. Rachel is dead. God, no, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson has this creepy photo torture room and we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students Prescott fuck fuck I knew it I should never have hooked up with that sick punk Papadou hated him yeah. you saw you saw Rachel yes I wish I did it I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... he killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? This part doesn't matter. I don't think you want to know about the overdose. It doesn't matter. She deserves her peace now. Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel. Oh, God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me. Just, it's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Rachel cared about a lot of people, especially Chloe. But, uh, now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. I think you took that actually pretty well. I'm not surprised. He's a pretty hardened character, and I think a part of him really realized that Rachel was dead all this time. I took the choice. Is that an option? Yeah. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? This one... this one I think I'll still keep quiet about. I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe... And David, I'll hold up somebody safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. Perfect storm. Or I'm sorry. Hmm. This better not be telling her about Chloe. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. And I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. 
And look at me, trying to keep my family together. And Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Yeah, David needs you. He's gonna definitely David need you for this. David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. You know, after he hit Chloe. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. I feel like if this is going to be the timeline we're going to go with, where Chloe possibly dies, Please be okay, Chloe. those two are going to need each other more than you. anything. Warren, let's get this over with. I was just about to drive to Los Angeles. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh, yeah. You're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. I'm a superhero. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? Did I start the storm? How? Oh. Well, maybe butterfly effect. I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse. The birds, the whales, everything. All because... because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did... Did he hurt you? We don't need the moment about the killing stuff. Let's just focus on the subject at hand. That's the best choice. He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and... dosed me with some drug and... took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max... I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's 
there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. The more time together you believe me, this is my fault. This one is interesting. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Alright. Let's see if we can fix this vortex. Max, do you... Do you think this is the end? Hey, be careful out there. Uh, all right, you deserve this. For now. I could use a hug before I do this. Don't take Me this too. the wrong way. before I get pathetic and tell you not to. You're not pathetic. You're one of my heroes. And I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. All right, for the party, we're going back. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, to Warren. To Rachel. Let's go, now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We time saw travel the proof. powers. Now, excuse me. I'm Seriously. going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson killed him. These two are kind of vague in like what they're gonna take and go into. I'm hoping this one's the more detailed of the three. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. 
I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! God, he's gonna shoot her. Man, she just won't listen. I better rewind and do over. I mean, shoot him. Man. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? All right. You dangerous, bro. Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! Okay, if so I'm it's right totally going down. Eyes, she'll listen. Excuse me, I'm going to that party. But I have to make her dead. believe that, that Jefferson's too dangerous for her you please? to go confront him and blow his brains out at the moment. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Let the past go or don't leave me. Chloe! I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. Max, I'm not running from you. This is when I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing in the universe can stop us now, Max. No, Except a giant tornado. not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm going to do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is going to turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? A terrible choice. Chloe, I'm... I'm going to tell you the truth, no matter what. I changed your past, and I, I... I had to make a terrible choice, and I... I... Max, please tell me. I won't be mad at you. I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying. And you, you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline to see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Let's just talk about what David did, and I think she will understand more. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. 
We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. I'm just hoping this works out. There goes the what you say photo. And explain it to David. What's the what does the CQC fight replace with? Ho 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 But the storm. How do we stop the storm? We face it together. See that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. The lighthouse. And it's still there. I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. Nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. What about everyone else? What? Chloe. I've got your back, Rex. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film little pieces of time. Back in class. I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Was. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Do I still have my powers? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers Hurts. and children. She saw humanity as Wait, tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Keep that to yourself. Dream. It's Seriously, it's fake. Though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> 